Welcome back guys. Now in the previous video, we saw how we can create our own modules. But a great thing about Node.js is that it comes shipped with a set of built-in modules called core modules so that we don't have to code everything from scratch. Now one such module is the HTTP module that allows us to use the HTTP server and client. And in this video, let us see how we can use the HTTP module to create our very first web server that responds with hello world when a request is made from the browser. So we have our app.js and as we saw in the previous video, we are going to use a required keyword to import the module. So it's a good convention to use the name of the variable the same as the name of the module so we have a variable http is equal to require and within single quotes http now since it's a core module we don't have to specify the dot and the slash which specifies the directory so we can have variable http is equal to require http and this loads up the http module now in the next line we are going to use the create server method or function in the, in the HTTP module. And this is going to return an object, which in turn has a method called listen. And this takes a parameter, which is a port number. So let's say 8888 is going to be our port number. And that's it. We have created a very first HTTP server. But this does absolutely nothing, right? So in a create server, we are going to pass an anonymous function. So we collect that a function that does not have a name and can be defined as a parameter itself is an anonymous function. So now let's have two parameters for our anonymous function. The first one is a request and the second one request and the second one is a response now what we can do with this anonymous function the first one is response dot write head and we're going to pass 200 as the status which is okay and then we're going to pass the pass an object which specifies the content type so content type would be text slash plain and then we're going to respond so response dot write with hello world wow I don't know how I end up typing the W so response and then we're going to end this response so response dot end And when we go ahead and save it and go to your window, sorry, the command prompt and type node app.js. And if you go to our browser and type HTTP localhost, and since we have specified 8888, Eight as our port number when we go to this particular URL then we see hello world and there you go we have created our very first server and responded with hello world so just to explain it again we have required the HTTP core module and the HTTP core module has a create server function and this takes a callback function and in our callback function, we have passed a request and response as parameter. And right now we are not doing anything with the request object, but using a response object, we are going to display hello world in, in the browser. And don't worry about the dot write, sorry, the dot n, these are events, which we are going to be seeing in the further videos. I just wanted to show you how to create a server, but why exactly are we writing this code to create the server i'm going to be talking about 
when we are creating our own Node.js application. So that's pretty much it about the HTTP module. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.